but welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today we are discussing the team of the year. Let's go. Big stuff, big events, uh, big happenings in FIFA, of course. Team of the year happens every single year. Um, there is a slight debate whether or not it was actually going to happen this year or not. But of course, as you can see, it is. Um, and uh, supposedly, I mean, the voting closes on the 18th, as you can see there, and uh, supposedly, I don't know, what day is the 18th? Uh, the 18th is... It is the Monday. So, supposedly, going from that, it should probably happen 22nd, maybe? Which is, um, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a very delayed team of the year. Very delayed team of the year. And uh, before we get into the voting, I'm sure you've seen plenty of other people's voting and the perception on team of the year but they've they've missed out so many so many key players i think from the nominees like there's so many players i don't understand how have got into the nominee selection um you know unless i just haven't heard that they've been amazing throughout the year i really don't understand how they've made it in but obviously uh team of the year we get to vote so what it is that's what's happening so let's jump straight into it obviously starting with the uh, goalkeeper now our selection is uh, Allison, Courtois, Edison, Krudecki, Krudecki, Krudecki. Uh, am I saying? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Krudecki. Uh, we've got Big Steve, and then we've got uh, Chiki Colo Navas, and then we've got a Manuel Neuer. Um, this is, is an interesting one because I think Allison's been really good. He's been really good. I, I think De Gea has been actually quite good as well. Um, I'm not sure why he hasn't made it into at least the nominations. Maybe he hasn't been as good as all the other guys. Um, Edison, not sure about it. He has been pretty good. I suppose he's a good goalkeeper. I'm not sure if he's team of the year worthy. Um, Krudecki, I don't know, to be honest. Big Steve, I, has, has he been good? Has he been influential for M Marseille? I don't know. Uh, Kalo Navas, so that would be an interesting one, to be fair. Kalo Navas would be, would be good. A cheeky Kalo Navas. Nora, I think, is worthy of it. Um, but I think we're starting a petition to get uh, Aylor Navas in the team of the year. Now, defender-wise, I don't think there's many that can really actually go into this one. Um, I think, obviously, starting off, it has to be Sergio Ramos. He's been influential as per, um, you know, as per every other every other year. I don't, don't think there's been a year that hasn't had Sergio Ramos, besides that one that had David Luiz, which was a, a big stinker. Now, the other one, obviously, would be would be, as you can see there, um, Virgil van Dijk. But, can you put him in? He's, he has got injured. So, you know, that, that obviously does leave a little bit of room for somebody else to take his place. But I still think the season he had last year um, and from what he has have had this season, I think he's just too good not to, um, not to put in. Now, the next one, I'm really surprised there isn't any uh, Arsenal defenders in here like Tierney. Uh, I mean, you could probably put David Luiz over there instead of Ginter in it. You, you know, I'm just shocking, really, from EA. Absolutely shocking. Um, it's a joke, by the way. Um, anyway, Trent, I don't know. Has he been good? I've heard he's been pretty trash, so I don't know. Uh, Trent's been all right, I suppose. Davies is good. Fernandez is good. We've got Kimpembe, Jordi Alba. Marquinhos, Robertson. I'm going to put Robertson there because I, I just think he has been, he's been sensational um, last year and this year. Um, and I'm going to put Davies in as well. Uh, you could say Trent. You could argue Trent. This is just my personal view and standpoint on it. Um, but I just think Davies is class. Yeah, that's class. Um, anyway, this one I don't think is too much of a difficult choice. A lot of these I don't understand how they've got in there. Like Gorson's Again, sorry, you can't see it there. Gorson's, how has he, how is he, is he, is he that good? I don't know. I don't know. Kovacic, really? Sorry, you can't even see it again. Where am I? Oh, there it is, never mind. Kovacic, how? How has he got in there? Tony Cruz is good. Uh, Renato Sanchez, see. Now, I'm doing this based on what I think, you know, real life performances, basically. Not just what I want for FIFA, because it was FIFA, I'd, I'd be picking uh, big Hyung Min Son. Um, but I mean, it's got to be, there's, there's only a few options. It's got to be Kimmich, it's got to be De Bruyne, and it's got to be Bruno Fernandes. It has to be. 
Those are the only correct options. Any other options are just incorrect. It's factual. Um, so, so far, that's my team of the year. Now, the attackers, I don't think it's too much of a debate. Again, as you can see, Andre Silva, not sure how he's made it in over the likes of like Rashford. Also, midfielder, where is um, where's Thomas Muller? EA, hello? Thomas Muller, where is he? I mean, like, he he's... I, I get, obviously, people probably wouldn't vote for him because they don't want to use him in FIFA, but he, he has to be in a, a nominee selection. He's been amazing. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But um, also, Rashford isn't in here. We've got the likes of Grealish. No idea. I mean, I know Villa's been good, but, like, I don't know. I, I just don't think he's team of the year nominee worthy. We've got Immobilier. Danny Ings. Now, Danny Ings is an interesting one here because he has been sensational. Um, sensational for Southampton. It was good when he, had, when he was at Liverpool. And uh, I think it was Burnley before that. If I'm not mistaken, I could be missing a club, but he was still pretty good then. So Danny Ings has been um, one of those kind of under the radar players, especially in FIFA as well. Uh, and he could very well make it in. I, I, Kylian Mbappe has been good. Um, but I don't think he's team of the year worthy. Not this year. But Messi, who... See, Messi's been good, but... Uh, is there just... Obviously, starting off, first choice has to be Robert Lewandowski. He won the best player i think the best player award wasn't it this year or for last year last season um just got over instead of cristiano ronaldo which is totally deserved he's he's warranted it for many years to come and finally this is his year uh very very deserved um erling Haaland has been sensational as well he's, he's had an incredible start to the season he had an incredible previous season um and obviously on fifa he's maybe not the most ideal player but he is, you know, team of the year Haaland. You wouldn't say no to like a 97 Haaland at all. Um, Cristiano, I think, has to go in there as the second option. I, I think he's just he, he's just too good. Wherever he goes, he's just too good not to uh, not to put in there. Um, Benzema has been good. So I'm trying to see these and put those on the screen. Uh, Benzema has been good as well. But the likes of... Uh, I saw Jao Felix. There he is. Jao Felix. He has been quite good as well. But uh, he didn't have a great last season. Um, yeah, tough choice. It's a tough choice because I'd like to banter this one off and put Danny Ings just for the, you know, for the lols. But um, I just don't think he would be voted for by anybody else. So it'd be a, it'd be a pointless. It'd be a dead vote. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But who knows at this point? Who knows? Um, I think Sane is a contender. Obviously, he got one last year. Does he warrant it again? Style has been good. Maybe not team of the year worthy. Definitely nominee worthy. Neymar's nowhere near as good as he uh, should have been or, or to, to get in team of the year. Vardy's been good. Suarez has been sensational since he uh, left Barcelona for the, for the past season anyway. Obviously, at Barcelona, he was, he was incredible. Best striker in the world for a good number of years, but uh, obviously dipped off a little bit. Um, I, I, I'm just going to go with Messi. I think he has to be the choice regardless. He is the best player in the world. Arguably, joint best player in the world to um, Ronaldo. And obviously now, definitely, you could argue that these are the three joint best players in the world. Obviously, FIFA doesn't convey that with their ratings. But I think looking at what they've done in real life performances, obviously Lewandowski getting the best player award. Um, you know, topping Messi and Ronaldo, it probably he probably does go up there as the best attacking striker or the best the best player in the world right now. Um, so, you know, that's uh, that's my choice, and that is what I'm going to get. So I'm going to agree with that, submit my vote, and we are going to seal that one in. That is my team of the year. So um, let me just save those. Okay, so there is my vote. So to recap, goal is uh, a goalkeeper is a cheeky. Kalor Navas, it would be sensational to see someone just a little bit different. And, uh, you know, you've, you've just got to have one of them. So goalkeeper is pretty irrelevant. And it would just be nice to see uh, Kalor Navas um, in there. Defence is um, Andy Robertson. You've got uh, Sergio Ramos, Virgil van Dijk and, and Alfonso Davies. And then uh, midfield three is Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, we've got uh, Joshua Kimmich and Bruno Fernandes. Strike trio is Cristiano Ronaldo, Robert Lewandowski, and Lionel Messi. 
Now, let me know in the comment section below who you would be voting for uh, out of the selection. Maybe who did you vote for? Do drop it in the comment section below. Who do you agree with? Who do you disagree with? Um, I think there's a lot of debate with Team of the Year. Every year, there's always debate who gets in, who doesn't. Obviously, prior to a few years, um, it's always been player voted for and it's always been kind of biased. Um, I think La Liga has kind of dominated uh, Team of the Year for a good number of years just with their popularity votes. You know, the people who maybe they are warranted of Team of the Year, but I think other leagues do need a shout once in a while. And it's good to see more and more Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A players, that kind of stuff do make or, or are making it into the Team of the Year. And also League 1 nowadays with Neymar and Bappe and all that kind of stuff. Not just those two, but those two are the uh, prominent standout players. Um, but it's good to see other leagues making it in there for once. And it's not just dominated with, uh, you know, Modric, uh, Alaba, um, Ramos and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to see. But obviously, like I said, let me, do let me know in the comment section below who you'd agree with or disagree with. Uh, but that's my team of the year. I know it's it might not get, you know, it might be a bit pointless because I think a lot of other people have done this. Um, but I just wanted to share my opinion, who I think is going, uh, going to get it. It'd be interesting to see on the... Uh, 18th or 22nd or whenever they do actually release team of the year um who makes it in who makes it in um exciting times exciting times to be had but there we are so hopefully i've enjoyed that is my team of the year vote um controversy to be had i think i still i'm still disappointed they haven't put muller in there he's a, a shoe in for at least a nominee shout maybe not an actual team of the year slot but at least a nominee shout come on ea but it is what it is so there we go. There is my team of the year vote. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Um, if you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.